Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Now I have this little example from Nina Turner's Twitter feed. Of course, I'm sure most of you guys are aware who Nina Turner is. She's a Bernie Sanders far left style politician. I believe she actually worked on Bernie Sanders' campaign. But Nina Turner recently released a poll on her Twitter feed, questioning people on their stances when it comes to student loan cancellation. And well, let's just say Nina Turner didn't exactly get the results that she was looking for. And while you may be asking it's a Twitter poll, it's not exactly scientific, or it's just an insignificant, relatively irrelevant politician releasing a poll on Twitter, why is it content for a video? Well, there's actually a lot of things that I think we could talk about here, a lot of things that we could discuss. Obviously, the idea of student loan cancellation in the first place, I think is a very fascinating topic. But secondly, the way Nina Turner framed the question on her Twitter poll shows the exact kind of slimy, marketing, emotionally manipulative type tactics that these far left, especially DSA Democrats, are constantly using in their activism and their messaging campaigns. And it makes the analysis of this Twitter poll a whole lot more interesting than just talking about student loan cancellation. And so we've got some stuff to get into. Let me show you guys the unexpected results, at least unexpected if you're a far left, delusional, self-righteous Democrat. And then of course, let's have a discussion of various different topics. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so I wake up this morning and I do the same thing I do every day. Immediately go to Twitter and see what's going on. Start getting into research mode to figure out what's going to be the topic today, or rather the three topics. And then of course, delivered to me like a gift from the gods, I see this tweet from Nina Turner. Should at POTUS cancel student debt? And there's four specific questions which you don't see the results to until after the poll is either final, which it is now, or until you vote. And the questions were as follow before I show you the results. Should POTUS cancel student debt? No, people should suffer. Yes, $10,000. Yes, $50,000. Cancel all of it. And immediately, before even responding and clicking my vote, I knew what the results were going to be. No, people should suffer. The final results are in. And 68.6% percent of respondents now keep in mind it's a twitter poll it's not exactly the most scientific thing ever responded with no people should suffer not to mention the ratio i mean yikes over 2,000 responses or replies with only a little bit over 900 likes at the time that i'm recording this video and it takes me back to the same point i'm always making when it comes to these bernie sanders left-wing style dsa democrats their self-righteous tone and their claims of the overwhelming majority of the american people agree with my stance on everything Thing, doesn't always line up with reality. And even when it comes to Democrats' favorite push polling data, it doesn't exactly line up with their rhetoric. I got this piece from Vox. Americans want to cancel student loans, but not all of them. Student debt forgiveness is especially popular among people with student debt. Those without it are more split. And we have this piece as well from US News. Only 38% of young Americans support total cancellation of student loan debt. For the most part, we only see a majority support when it comes to $10,000 of student loan forgiveness. But when we're talking about the far left Democrat stance of total student loan forgiveness or cancellation or over $50,000 in student loan forgiveness. Well, just like public support for abortion in the second and third trimester, support falls off a cliff. And that's because for the most part, people have sympathy and are willing to help a little bit. You know, you might be able to convince many moderates and people in the middle to cancel $10,000 in student loan debt. But when you're talking about total student loan cancellation, I mean, just the price tag alone makes it unfeasible. We have this right over here from Forbes. Student loan cancellation could cost one trillion dollars. Not to mention, it's another far-left, idealistic band-aid fix that doesn't actually fix the problem itself. What Democrats are talking about is student loan cancellation, specifically for overeducated millennials with useless degrees. And then, of course, the obvious issue of people who didn't take student loans, people who paid their way through college, people who fully paid their student loans, or possibly people who didn't go at all and created their own path without higher education. Now you have to convince those people to take on a $1 trillion price tag or possibly increase the tax burden to pay off that debt. Not exactly a very popular idea. But once again, it boils down to another major issue that I always bring up when it comes to left-wing politics, left-wing ideology, and rhetoric. That taxpayers in the state should pick up the tab or pick up the bill for people's bad decision-making skills. When it comes to left-wing ideology, when it comes to left-wing philosophy or political thinking, people who make bad life decisions should be subsidized by the state. And that right there is where left-wingers lose me. If you want to make bad financial decisions, then that's on you. If you want to invest your entire life savings into Dogecoin and you bought it at 70 cents, gambling away your future and your hard-earned money, well then now is it my responsibility to subsidize your existence? 
Absolutely not. You know, Dogecoin is a pretty cruddy investment. But you know what's an even worse investment? Going to an Ivy League school or going to a very expensive university to study social sciences or all kinds of other nonsense, gender studies, and all the other useless degrees that we constantly hear about. That right there is possibly the dumbest thing that you could do with your money. To get $100,000 in student loan debt on the career path to being a social worker, that's on you and that's not on the state. And so, you know, Democrats are really good at identifying problems, but you know what they're really bad at? Finding solutions. And it's like most things. Democrats and Republicans, both political sides can agree that a problem exists. The disagreement usually comes on what is the solution or what is the path forward. The Democrats' solution is always that the state or, of course, taxpayers should have to foot the bill. Government should be expanded. Government programs should be expanded. Government spending should be expanded. And all you need to fix the problem is to throw more taxpayer dollars at it. Of course, we know through this very interesting phenomenon called history, that almost never works. I mean, just look at the public housing experiment from, I believe, the 1970s if I'm not mistaken, in big cities like New York and Chicago, just look at how that one turned out. Student loan forgiveness is equally stupid. How about instead of spending people's hard-earned money, how about instead of increasing the deficit and increasing taxes, you solve the actual problem, which is the college racket. How about this? No more student loans above maybe $10,000, $20,000 for any useless degrees. How about student loans be used exclusively for degrees that actually produce money? You know, it's like getting a mortgage for a house, for instance. You can't get that loan from the bank unless you're able to prove that you can pay it back. Well, how about you can't get student loans without pursuing a degree that generally leads to a decent financial outcome? In other words, will lead to a job where you'll actually be able to make money and pay off your student loans. How about ending the college racket in the first place? You know, some of the most successful people that I know don't have college degrees. Not having a college degree doesn't mean that you're stupid. I graduated high school with incredible grades, and I was on path to become an engineer, but I decided to do something else. Because I don't have a fancy university paper, does that make me stupid and uneducated? Absolutely not. In fact, I think it makes me pretty damn smart. You know what's the best way to start off your life, especially in your early 20s with an entrepreneurial spirit trying to start a business? Not having debt, meaning all the money that you make, you put aside and you can invest in yourself and your business. But a lot of people just don't get it. They do as they're told. And that right there is the problem. The problem is the system, the public education system and the cultural system that tells people you must follow this path and go through the system, go through the education conveyor belt, get student loans, go to university, get a job, get a 401k. And in many cases, it fails spectacularly. There's a lot of people who are in school who shouldn't be. I'm going to use myself as an example once again. I was personally gifted academically, but you know what? I had a serious problem with authority. I didn't listen. I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to be at school. I didn't want to go through this system and be molded. I wanted to do things my own way, and that's how I've been my entire life. And I was trying to force myself to conform and to make it work in school, and at one point, it just all fizzled out. I didn't want to be there. I wasn't passionate about academics and even engineering. And my father told me, my dad said, I don't think you're the type of kid who should be in school. You should probably drop out. And that's exactly what I did. And it was the best decision I ever made. Well, there's a whole lot of people who either aren't academically gifted, aren't intelligent enough, and that's just a flat out reality and probably shouldn't go to school. Because what's the point of being an educated, stupid person? It's almost an oxymoron. You might as well just learn a trade, start your life with basically no debt, start a business or work as an electrician or a plumber. You might as well just not go to school because you're not cut out for it. It's not meant for you. Our system should be giving children the proper information and the proper guidance that they need. But instead, the only guidance that you get is you have to go to school, you have to take on this incredibly burdensome debt, or you will be a failure for the rest of your life. And that right there, folks, is just not it. You don't need to go to business school to understand business. You don't need a finance degree to understand investing. You don't need a computer science degree to learn how to code. And so we should be thinking of alternatives and how to change the system so that it works, so that it doesn't fail our youth, instead of perpetuating this college racket that is failing this generation and the next. But instead of doing that, what do the Democrats tell you? The Democrats want to continue to enable this system and not only enable it, enable the multi-billion dollar college scheme racket, but they want to subsidize it as well. They want to keep this broken system, but use taxpayer dollars to subsidize the whole thing. And that right there is a disgrace. 
And for all those reasons, student loan cancellation is an absolutely idiotic idea, if you ask me. And once again, you see another Democrat tactic in the initial poll in the first place. The first response to Nina Turner's poll, no, people should suffer. It shows the emotionally manipulative tactics of the far left, yet even despite this tactic, most people can see right through it. And I guess come to the same conclusion as me in the end, that Democrats, and especially far left DSA Democrats, have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. What the Western world needs is a revival of people working with their hands again and the entrepreneurial spirit that is slowly disintegrating in our cultures. The gritty, get down to it, get your hands dirty, build something mentality that built America in the first place, and to move away from this socialist, communist, latte liberal, overeducated liberal racket that the public education system and college system is currently producing. And I think the last thing people want is for their tax dollars, their hard-earned money, to be spent on paying the college tuitions of people who absolutely loathe them and despise them, and end up working at the New York Times or Vox, writing articles as to why America is evil, conservatives are racist, and capitalism is the root of all evil and should be replaced with communism. That is the last thing the taxpayer dollars should be subsidizing. But of course, that's just my opinion. However, if you enjoy my opinion, and you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like at the bottom, guys. Subscribe if you feel like it. I'm gonna get back to work. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.